Following the horrors of World War II, the international community created what is now known as the United Nations system. This is the most elaborate attempt in the history of civilization to replace the rule of force with the force of law. The law that has emanated from the Nuremberg judgment and principles is at the heart of the development of international human rights law and international law. Hence, along with war crimes and crimes against humanity, it was necessary to legislate what Benjamin Franz refers to as the most serious of all international crimes, that is to say, crimes of aggression or crimes against peace. Nevertheless, at present, we are witnessing a display of the judicial and social engineering that tends to undermine the United Nations system, and the advances made in the protection of human rights under international law. This is fundamentally led by a series of ideologists that 9-11 allowed to materialize dreams of destruction and darkness grouped around the Bush administration. This translates into the creation of an a-legal figure, such as unlawful combatants or the concept of preemptive war. It also translates into, for example, the promotion from within the U.S. Department of State of what has been coined as transitional justice systems, which are no more than a euphemism to state that serious crimes against human rights committed in the context of war or armed conflict must remain in impunity. Likewise, the deliberate weakening of ad hoc tribunals to the detriment of the rights of the victims, as well as the great crusade against the International Criminal Court and the principle of universal criminal jurisdiction by personality not unlike Jesse Holmes. Benjamin Ferris we are interviewing today is one of the individuals who has best theorized about the right to peace by analyzing in an intellectually ideal manner and with a great degree of scientific honesty the so-called crime of aggression. His work on this issue is a requisite for anyone that tackles the issue of peace and the responsibilities of war. This moral and penal figure is pending analysis and application since the signing of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. In this audio document, Benjamin Ferenc also tackled the issue of criminal organizations aimed at the commission of crimes against humanity, for which the Eisen Group of case set a precedent. Benjamin Ferenc was the U.S. prosecutor in the Eisen Group in trial at Nuremberg. This case is one of the basis for the identification of a type of organization that has become increasingly prevalent due to theoreticians of national security and the Bund Organization of Examination. Radio Eco intends to convey the testimony of Benjamin Ferenc in honor of the intellectual integrity that is so necessary to confront the seriousness of the present situation of instability. This is Benjamin Ferenc speaking to you from Rochelle, New York. I am a former Nuremberg war crimes prosecutor and I have been invited uh, by Radio Eco to comment on various subjects of common interest. They have asked me to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in Transylvania, which is between Hungary and Romania, over 84 years ago. I came to America as an immigrant in it. Uh, I was educated in New York. I graduated from the Harvard Law School. Uh, I uh, immediately went to the United States Army, where during World War II, I served combat soldiers from the beaches of Normandy to the final battle of the beach. I have seen war firsthand. I know horrors of war. Uh, I'm determined by the great of this world. As far as I was doing it, I mean, I began a war to that year. And I had any concentration as they were proliferating. I interviewed and very captured all criminals. I dug up for her to the plans. I have looked into the remorse. I have devoted a great deal of time 